Hi, this is Rick. I thought I'd do a quick video on how to create a support helicopter that drops a virtual ammo box uh, where you specify on the map. Uh, to do this, you have two options. You have a virtual supply drop where the supply helicopter itself is spawned in a, a few hundred meters from where you specify you want the drop on the map. And the other alternative would be to have a real helicopter fly in from a specific point in this case, it would be at the American base, which is over here. And these are the target areas which we're going to be attacking sequentially, starting with task one and moving through to task seven. Over here, what I've done is I have my squad. I've created a support requester, which you'll find over here under supports. Strangely enough, you drag and drop the support requester module down and you can decide how many uh, of each of these things you want. In this case, I'm going to just have a support drop limit of 20. And then what I do is I select my team, right click, connect sync to, and click it onto the support requester. I won't do it because uh, I've already done that. Then what you need to do is put the actual supply drop module down. And there's the virtual one that I mentioned earlier. So you drop the supply drop down or supply module down, right click connect sync to the requester. Then right click on the supply uh, module, click connect sync to the actual chopper. The chopper obviously has to have a pilot in it. I just put a, a set captive on it so it doesn't get shot down all the time. Well, that'll make it more interesting. It would be cool if the chopper can occasionally get shot down. And also on this specific chopper under special state, I decided to switch off the damage so it can take fire without being shot down or crash, unless the pilot gets shot. If you want it to take fire, then you can just take out the set captive command and allow the vehicle Damage. In the crate init field, a key part is dropping in this code, which basically adds an add action to the crate once it spawns in, uh, that turns the crate into a virtual arsenal. I'll just copy it out and paste it into, uh, into here so you can see what it looks like. So underscore this means this crate, local variable, and some text which is uh, pure red, RGB. Uh, text is virtual arsenal and then this bit of code over here open true spawn bisfunk arsenal it remote execs it so that anyone who walks up to the crate will see this ad action and can access the virtual arsenal the function is ad action and it's remote exec to all connected machines that's what this is, the zero means Okay, since I synchronized the support requested to each of these units, uh, any one of them, assuming that they are the player or a player, will be able to call in supports. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how this works. So I'm at the base, I'm going to teleport myself. There's a supply helicopter over there. Teleport myself into the desert. Call in supports. Point at the ground near you. Requesting supply drop at the transmitted coordinates. Over. Put some marker down. Supplies and route. Out. Go back to the base just to show you. Now if, it, if it was a virtual, if it was a virtual chopper. As I said, it would spawn in within, say, half a kilometer or a kilometer of you. The virtual one is obviously less real. In this case, you've got to wait for the travel time.
you have to take into account when you set the marker position for the actual drop, you should take into account the wind. Uh, even though the helicopter drops the supply drop at a relatively low altitude, obviously it's going to drift quite a distance. And also it depends on how much, how clear the, the zone is that you've selected. So at this point you should uh, look up. Why have it dropped? Up. We've lost quite a few of our team by being hit by a supply drop. So it adds amusement, but um, you probably should say a heads up. So there's the virtual ammo box. Fully functional. And so now the heli goes back, the support heli goes back to, um, to the base, lands and waits for the next request. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.